If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population. But I wouldn't be happy until I seized the ripest apple on the tree. The. So I'd set about however necessary to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you, as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. We have taught you the morality you need. We have taught you through the university. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is a social construct. I would remind them to trust in all that the school system teaches and their smart devices show over anything their parents say or want. After all, their parents are part of an archaic world that hated everything and included nobody. And to the older generations, I would teach them to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate influencers and producers in how to make lured content exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten Hollywood with dirtier series and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics and fentanyl to whom I could. I'd promote drunkenness to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of more clicks, likes, and shares, I would have mesmerizing social media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions and just let those run wild until before you knew it, you'd have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon, I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and defy science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbols of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what do you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes and hard work and patriotism and moral conduct. I'd call those things hateful. I would convince the young that marriage is toxic and unnatural, that open relationships are more fun, that what you see on your smart device is the way to be. And thus, I can undress you in public and I could lure you into bed and give you a cure for any consequences. And when you begin to search for meaning, when you try to find your purpose, I've removed the path. So you become confused, you get angry, anxiety starts to overwhelm you, and I will say gently into your ear with concern, just look into the mirror and see whatever it is that you want to see. Because there is no plan, there is no purpose, we can reinvent. You weren't created. Everything you do, everything you get, it's all for thee. In other words, if I were the devil, I would just keep on doing what he's already been doing.
This has been Austin Arthur of the West Orange Times and Observer. And until next week, have a happy and blessed weekend. West Orange on the Go is brought to you by the West Orange Times and Observer. Hosted by Austin Arthur. West Orange on the Go.